Well, you have to make a tapenade with some olives, and so we're okay. using green olives today. Mm. All right, and I know you love steak, so I thought we would put the combination together. I found this great recipe from Donna Hay Magazine. Donna Hay is one of my very, very, very favorite chefs in the whole wide world. She's a food editor in Australia, and her books have become very popular, and I love learning from her and getting all these great recipes, and this is basically very, very simple. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with a simple sirloin steak, mm -hmm. and I'm going to let you salt and pepper it. So okay. generous. Gen Generous. Generously right. add some salt, yeah, the ground pepper on top of that. I'm going to hold my CD. I wish we could put this on and sing. What, and they're sing right here. While we're, I know, really? but I don't want to have them sing for their supper. <laughs> can, we, can we bring some of the, um, the Oh, we're going to eat? In? She's, coming. She's okay. coming with it? She's coming in with the... Okay, yeah. Just, I wash my hands getting it all over. I always say I washed my hands yesterday. Yeah. Okay, okay, good. So we're going to brush the sirloin steaks. We have uh, four seven-ounce steaks, and we're going to sprinkle it generously with some salt and pepper. And then, um, you Mark... you pan going there. Yeah, I got this. I'm mm. going to Smell that? This. I don't want to overcook this. You have to let them rest anyway. It's important after they finish they cooking. You have, yeah, they are tired because if yeah. you cut into them, then all the juices come out and you have a dry piece of meat. If you let it sit for three to five minutes, all the juices go right back in to the steak. And so when you cut into it, it's nice and juicy and it'll sure. stay juicy. Okay. So bring the steaks in, please. Yes, let everybody I try cannot it. wait oh, to wow. dig right. into my steak. Look at that. Mark. Oh, wow. look at that steak. All right. Look at that. I'm going to have you taste it, Mark, because... Oh, I know, wow. love this No, steak. don't eat the bagel. <laughs> Give me it's that bagel. It's not a bagel, it's a steak. <laughs> no, it's not. Give me the bagel. You see a steak? This is a bagel. <laughs> Give me the bagel. I mean, a steak. <laughs> no, I'm going to eat this. Oh, come on. All right. Well, then I'm going to ask right. our Texas... Okay. Hunters, yeah, we're going to let the tenors here dig in. I'm going to try this. See, now, I'm left-handed, because so I should have been on the Mark is left-handed, too. Oh, you are? All right. What we're going to do do is stop it. I have to go okay, left. go ahead. Ch taste it, you guys. Let me it's know. It's like what boarding you school here. You guys yeah. couldn't be closer competitive. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. So we have our hot <laughs> skillet. We have a um, these are the cast iron skillets that you said you ordered and they came and they looked like fried eggs, right? Yeah, they I bought them online and I was like, oh it's so affordable and the three little ones are like that. <laughs> now you want to heat up your skillet super duper hot and oh, add so a little good. bit of olive oil mm. and then you're going to there's that sizzle. Yeah, that's, that's what you get up. That's what um. there you go. And what you want to do is you're going to uh, cook it two minutes on each side, depending on how. You think I didn't get a bagel? That's amazing. And how we, we like you didn't get a bagel. That's okay. Will you t please taste the steak for me with the olives? Okay. That, all right. While that's cooking, we're going to make the, yeah. the olive tapenade, okay? Good. Good. So we have some green olives that we chopped. Have yeah. We have some have fresh basil. So we'll pop that in there. All in there. Oh, right. Just pop it. How much? All of it? Just throw it in there. All right. Fresh basil. And all then right. we have some capers. All right. Capers. Yeah, really mm. And if cooking were this easy, we, I could do this. Yes, and we have some garlic. And we're going. Yes. Yeah. Going in with the olives. Okay, going in. See? Fantastic. Really? <laughs> okay. I can never tell. All right. Then we have some Very white good. balsamic vinegar. Nice. Do you cook? Uh, I boil water like you, you wouldn't believe. No, you're not a yeah. chef. But this is, you can do this at home. This I is could. If easy. you had came over to my house and prepared it for me like this, I could probably do you this. You could do this. You could yeah. do this for your, your wife. Or well, she's your... vegetarian. That might be difficult. Mm. But yeah, we could do that. Does she eat fish? Uh, yes. Okay. She's a pescatarian. So then you can give her this tapenade on top of her fish. Absolutely. All right. So uh, we'll mix this up. Okay. Okay. And then... We have the basil, the garlic, the olives in there. See how mm -hmm. simple it is? That's it's very simple. easy. You can also use this on chicken or grilled shrimp. And yeah. then I serve it with some little baby romaine lettuce. I saw that. And to that, we're just going to add drizzle a little bit of uh, olive oil on top, a little bit of salt. You want to squeeze some lemon on right. there and, and right. crack pepper. Let me get this in Mark's eye. Yeah, and then here's some. Here. Mm -hmm. There you go. And oh, here's yeah. some. Oh, um, right. Right. It's close. There we go. All right. A little higher. Okay. Yeah. There's buffalo mozzarella right there. Ooh, look oh, at that. that. Isn't that beautiful? That look at that. Really and then put some buffalo mozzarella I in I find there. when you're cooking, you got to do this a lot. It makes you look like you're working really hard in the kitchen. Like, yeah. you know what you're doing before the next step? Well, let me just clean up my Excuse hands me. before oh. I go to the next step here. There so you go. Yeah. So what was I doing? Scene. You're going to add some um, buffalo mozzarella to oh, the yeah, tomato. Right. Make it look like that. Uh -huh. Okay, I can do that. And then... Again, wash my hands yesterday. 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 Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. Oh, How I long do you... Um, uh, how long, Christine, do you toast the bagel? Stop it with the... Let it go, I wanna, Mark. Let it go. I, no, it's over. No? Oh. I want to show you, though, if we can get a shot of the steak here. All right. This is what it's going to look like after two oh, minutes. Nice. You know, it's a it's, um, little pink on the inside, the way, kind of rare, the way mm -hmm. I like it. I don't know if you like it cooked really, a little bit more. No, that's and perfect. And then to that, I'm going to add... 
A was I bit supposed to salt both sides of those steaks? Did by you the way? salt both sides? I did not do both sides because you didn't tell me that. All right, let's start again, it all over. I'm, I'm back to the boiling water. There we go. I'm going to wash my Here. hands because again, that looks very efficient mm. and official. And Here, I'm going to have you. Would you like right. to taste? Please. Okay. Mm. There you go with the little basil. And the, mm. There you go. Mm. Look at that. Very good.